Tig here again. In today's video, I'm responding to a subscriber request on the channel and testing Humanizer.pro. This tool is just another AI humanizer that claims it can transform AI written text into that which contains human nuances so that it can bypass AI detectors, saying that it achieves greater than 90% human scores with them. They show text on their website with a 100% likely original score with originality. But is this true? And can the humanized text really fool originality and turn it in? Answers coming soon. But first, if you've got a humanizer, spinner, or undetectable tool that you'd like me to test on the channel, or you have any questions about AI in higher education, let me know in the comments. If you value this channel and its authoritative, transparent, and impartial testing with no affiliate links and no sponsorship, like this video, subscribe and share this or any video on the channel with someone you think would find it informative. I'd really appreciate it. Now, to test Humanizer Pro, we first need some AI-generated text for it to humanize. Let's ask the free version of ChatGPT to write a 1,000-word essay on humanizers focusing on Humanizer Pro and their implications for students and educators. Look at ChatGPT Go. We'll paste the output into this document here. As Humanizer Pro gives us unlimited words that we can humanize for free, very generous, we're going to do a little experiment. There is some discourse around humanizers with claims that humanizing the text paragraph by paragraph produces higher quality output than humanizing it all in a single input. We'll also be testing that claim. So we'll first humanize the essay in one go, then we'll humanize it again, paragraph by paragraph this time. That means we've got three versions of the essay, the ChatGPT version, the Humanizer Pro humanized in single input version, and humanized paragraph by paragraph version. Let's run each of these through the Turnitin AI detector. For the ChatGPT version, we get a 100% likely AI score. This is typical of ChatGPT and a short and not very complex prompt. For the single input version, we get an AI score of 32%. That's a heck of a lot less than 100%, but it's far from perfect. We'll examine the quality of the humanized writing later in the video. For the paragraph by paragraph version, we've got a 0% likely AI score, which is great, assuming that it's readable and hasn't destroyed the meaning of the original ChatGPT version. Now, on their website, Humanizer Pro very heavily imply that their humanized text can get a perfectly human score with originality. Let's investigate this claim by testing the output with their two AI detectors. The first of these is called Light 1.0.0. This is their less sensitive AI detection model. With light, the single input humanized text gets a 50% likely AI score. That's not very good and shows that their website is making false claims to users. With the more sensitive Turbo 3.0.1 model, it gets a 52% likely AI score. Not a tremendous difference between Originality's two AI detectors. Now let's test the paragraph by paragraph humanized version. This got a 0% score with Turnitin. How will it perform here? With the light AI detector, it gets a score of 50% likely AI. That's a big difference between the Turnitin score, but there is no difference between it and the single input version score. With the Turbo AI detector, it gets a 96% likely AI score. Does this mean that the paragraph by paragraph version contains more statistically likely patterns of words and is therefore more readable? Let's look at the quality of the writing in both now. For the text that was humanized in a single input, the writing is fine. There are a couple of places where it looks like an extra space was added as a human type error, but that's just how it looks on screen. The writing is mostly fine and acceptable, though the essay doesn't say that much of interest. I will note that the original ChatGPT version ain't great either. However, it devolves into borderline nonsense with the closing line, as the bots ask life questions, so this canvas muscle also entwine, albeit through compelling narratives and guided reflections akin to the crayon strokes of olden days. What the heck is Humanizer Pro talking about? This line was, as this technological landscape continues to evolve, stakeholders must engage in ongoing dialogue to establish norms and policies that balance innovation with accountability. In the ChatGPT version, and it seems to have gone off on one when humanizing this text. For the text that was humanized paragraph by paragraph, we've got the same weird issues where it looks like there are multiple spaces and some odd phrasing. Slip through the nets. Sure, 
if you say so. We've also got missing commas. Can be used to turn AI drafts into polished products on par with any professional or style thing. In the ChatGPT version, this is, these tools may be used for ethical purposes, such as adapting AI-generated drafts into refined pieces that align with professional or stylistic standards. We've got, so too, with one O instead of two. Whoops. The readability is about the same for both versions, so it didn't make any difference humanizing the text paragraph by paragraph. The single input humanized text is 568 words, and the paragraph by paragraph version is 566 words. So they're the same length. I'm going to call it. There was no substantial difference between them, except for the paragraph by paragraph version achieving a much better score with Turnitin, and a much worse score with the originality turbo detector. I don't think I'm going to humanize text paragraph by paragraph in videos in the future. In conclusion, Humanizer Pro is certainly not the worst tool out there. It did get a 0% Turnitin score for the text that was humanized paragraph by paragraph, though this was just one sample of text. The writing is of a decent standard, with some odd or confusing phrasing, but mostly it's okay. Humanizer Pro offer unlimited humanized words for free, so it might be of interest to students on a budget that want to try it out. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Yes, you. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so now. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests. Goodbye for now.